Did you realize that manual transmission use on car and motorcycle is different? On a car, the transmission control has more path, but on motorcycle, the control is only having two movement. How that work? What is inside the motorcycle manual transmission? In this video, I will show you an animation that show how the manual transmission work on motorcycle. We know that manual transmission has some type. Motorcycle use constant mesh transmission to move the gear acceleration. In constant mesh, there are two gear, input gear and output gear. When both gear separate, the rotation is not distributed. But when one of the gear slides to other gear, it will link both gears. So the rotation is distributed. If you see this five-speed gearbox, we can see a lot of gear. It's shared to two shafts, input shaft and output shaft. To make it simple, I will be grouping these gears to three group. First, free gear group. This group contain five gears with different number of teeth that freely move. It means this gear are not linked with the shaft, or in other way, the gear didn't rotate when the shaft rotate. The second group is fixed gear. This group only two gears, where each gear connected to the shaft. So the gears will rotate when the shaft rotate, The third group is sliding gear. This group contained three gears. Just like fixed gear, this gear connected to the shaft so that the gear rotate whenever the shaft rotate. But the different, this gear has ability to sliding. On the side of the gear, you will see a hook. This is used to engage every gear in sliding movement. So the gear could engage just only a short movement. In this position, the sealed gears are disengaged with all of the free gear. It makes the rotation from input shaft is not forwarded to output shaft. Or, this is neutral position, but when the slide gear sliding to one of the free gears, it will engage input and output shaft. The gear ratio is dependent on which the gears are engaged. The conclusion, the gear ratio is controlled by the engagement of two gear, the floating gear and the sliding gear, the sliding gears, all of them just only sliding left and right, then how to control it. After you understand the movement of gear ratio, then we will discuss manual transmission control system. It is totally different from manual transmission use in a car. This is called sequential shifting system. In sequential shifting, there is a tubular component. I called it selection tube. This component has three paths. The number of paths is dependent on how many the sliding gear number. So, because we use three sliding gears, there are three paths, each path connected to a selection fork. The fork has a ball bearing, which the bearing entered the path. It will make the fork move when the selection tube rotate. In the upper area, the fork will be gripping each sliding gears, so that the rotation of selection tube will move all of the sliding gears left and right alternately. It makes the movement of each sliding gear is handled by a selection tube rotation. Then, selection tube has additional arm to make it easy to control. This arm system makes it possible to control use only a lever. Just like this animation, we can control selection tube rotation by press or pull the lever. That's how motorcycle manual transmission work. Subscribe my channel and wait for the next video.